this is how you change your oil in a 2010 Nissan Altima SR. So what you're going to do is get yourself some ramps, not jacks, and have someone guide you up the ramps so you don't go over them. But these have a little bit of a dent in them that lets you know that you're at the end of the ramp. And you guys can get these at Harbor Freight for like $40. We feel these are safer than just getting jacks. Because then you'd have to jack up one whole side and jack the other side up. And you probably wouldn't have a big enough jack to get the car up. But you want to get yourself some ramps. Then you're going to go to the oil pan with your 10 millimeter socket. And just unloosen the bolt where the oil comes out. And as soon as you do that. And make sure you have your oil pan right underneath. Right when you unloosen that bolt. Because your hot oil is going to come right out. And what you're going to want to use is. Pennzoil 10W30. It depends on if you have a high mileage car or you don't. But we don't use Fram oil filters because Fram oil filters are whack. But these are what we use. And it does tell you how many miles they will last for on the back of the package. This one says up to 10,000 uh, miles. Everybody from high end mechanics have said that scotty kilmore on youtube which is a guy i follow he's been a mechanic for 50 years my buddy who's been a mechanic since about 2008 he said the same thing they're garbage don't buy them just because they're very cheap and they're very affordable buy quality parts when you're fixing your car or doing oil changes or just uh, working on your car that's what i do i'm not buying garbage ass stuff to fix my car because you want that car to last five ten years right you want to last into the two hundred thousand mile range because not everybody has enough money to go buy a brand new car every couple uh, years so buy quality parts when you're fixing your car and you definitely want to get one of these buckets so you can cast the oil and then take it to the auto parts store when you're done because they will distribute your oil and here is what your oil filter looks like and then once you put the new oil filter in, you're just going to go get your 10W30. Unscrew the oil cap on the top of the engine, like you see here. And then you're just going to pour it in. But make sure you don't over pour. Because if you do, it's going to make a total mess. So make sure when you're filling up your funnel, you don't fill it to the top where it's going to overflow. And then basically that's how you change your oil very quick, very seamless. And I couldn't really show you underneath the car. So you just tighten the oil cap and then you're ready to go. Remember, everything is pretty much a 10 millimeter uh, bolt. So you need a 10 millimeter socket. But it's righty tighty lefty loosey. And with that being said, guys, now the car is ready to be driven. But remember, to have someone guide you down the ramps so you don't bottom out. Because as you can see, it's so easy if you went up and over the ramps if someone wasn't there to tell you where the end of the ramps were. So you can get those, like I said, at Harbor Freight. And one last thing that you need before you end your oil change is write down the mileage. So next time you know exactly when to do your oil change. You don't want to go 10, 12, 20,000 miles and go, I don't remember the last time I did it. Write it down, save it into your phone, keep a document on your computer so every time you do an oil change or fix your car, you know what was done, when it was done, and how it was done, and who did it. So what you're going to do is, you're going to unscrew the bolt, lefty-loosey, righty-tighty, you're going to unloosen the bolt to let the oil drip into the oil pan, and once you do that, you're going to take the oil pan and after you undo the oil filter which it doesn't matter what brand you use i'm just saying i don't use fram oil filters because uh i've heard from a lot of people that they're just garbage they're not great so what you're going to do is you're going to take that oil filter and after you untighten it and take it out you're going to want to put the oil pan underneath because there's still going to be oil that's going to be dripping and you want it to be under there for at least five or ten minutes to make sure everything is out and remember don't do it right after you've driven because it's gonna your car is gonna be hot and the oil is gonna be hot. So you want to do it in your car's not um, been driven because you don't want to burn yourself with the oil. So after you had the oil pan dripping for five or ten minutes, 
then you're gonna go take the other oil filter screw it back in screw the other bolt back into the oil pan and then go up to the uh, hood and just pour the oil back in the new fresh oil high mileage 10w30 whatever your car is because I have 131,000 miles so I use high mileage pens oil in the um, car because uh, I always stick by pens oil because I think it's it's a uh, quality product it's always worked for me it's always worked for my family that's what everybody tells me to use so that's what I use is 10w30 uh, high mileage pens oil and uh, it's pretty much it if it's your very first time ever doing it it should take you maybe 15 to 20 minutes tops it shouldn't take you any longer than uh, 15 minutes and when you take it to a lot of places they'll be like oh we can do it in 35 minutes or 40 minutes when they do the oil change at like a shop it's because they do it that way because they're making money when you do it yourself you can do it in 15 minutes and you're done and it actually makes you feel better when you're working on your car doing your own thing instead of relying on a mechanic to do it where you're going to spend a little bit more because it was only 35 dollars to uh, get the oil filter to get the um oil and to do it myself and if i would have done it at a shop it's it's twice that it's like what 60 bucks with the tax and everything so it just feels good when you do it yourself yes you get a little dirty and whatnot but I like it I feel good I think you guys would feel good too so that's pretty much how you guys do the whole oil change in your car